the potential renal acid load or PRAL value is an assessment of how a food or a meal places a metabolic burden on our body's efforts to maintain a blood pH of 7.39. It's very important for the body to maintain a very narrow window of blood pH values so that we can perform vital enzyme functions and so many other aspects of our physiology as, as, as is desired. If the pH of our blood were to sway too much one way or another, we'd run into problems very quickly. This could happen with unique metabolic conditions like hyperventilation, which could put us into something which we call metabolic alkalosis. Unfortunately, if we were to eat a diet that is imbalanced and had a high level of metabolic acid load associated with it day in and day out, we would never receive any type of red flag from our body that anything was wrong. That's because our body has an incredible ability to buffer out the acids from our diet, i.e. the proteins or the protein content of our meals, by using our renal system's production of the potassium bicarbonate ion, or using our bone density as a way to give up calcium to neutralize the acids that are entering our bloodstream from amino acid rich meals. So this potential renal acid load has been a point of controversy in nutrition and in medicine for so many years. It is taught in medical school curriculums to every MD, to every medical school student, this potential renal acid load equation, which is simply the potassium content, the calcium content, and the magnesium content of a food or a meal, all giving them more of a alkaline load or a metabolic alkaline load stress to the body. The protein content or the phosphorus content of a food or a meal tends to give it a metabolic acid load or a metabolic acid stress component. Every food has several different aspects to it to that food which could make it either an acid load or an alkaline load. And it's not important to eat only alkaline loaded foods or only alkaline loaded meals, but it's important over the course of a day and certainly over the course of an extended period of time to have more balance in our diet. This happens when we eat meals and foods which tend to have more of this pH or prowl balance, which would be by and large more plant-based meals, and in particular fruits and vegetables, some legumes, less in the way of grains, which tend to be more of an acid-loaded plant-based food. If we do this, if we have meals which are largely made up of plants, in particular fruits and vegetables, have very modest amounts of animal protein, typically we will have a PRAL equation or a PRAL potential renal acid load product at the end of the day that is well balanced and it will take much of the stress off of our kidneys or off of our bone density. Fortunately, functional formularies Liquid Hope is very well balanced with respect to its potential renal acid load because it's largely made up of things like chickpeas, vegetables, almonds, and herbs and spices which can tend to have a significant alkaline load. Having a meal replacement like Liquid Hope or making meals out of this type of well-balanced plant-based diet overall gives us a much lower level of physiological stress that is associated with a high potential renal acid loaded diet.